So here we go, I have unpacked this uh, a little bit. Uh, we got the manual in different languages. It's quite detailed. Then uh, here we have a programming cable. You can program the radio from the computer by downloading the software to use the radio. And uh, you can program the radio manually also on the field where, where no computer is available. Then uh, the usual stuff, uh, a charger. A uh, bell clip with strap and uh, of course the antenna is, is about 13 cm which is uh, short but it's depending also on the frequency we want to use. So let's uh, see and uh, connect the radio to the computer and uh, do some programming how it looks like. Uh, the, the connector is a standard cable type connector. Just plug it in. Let's program the radio from your computer. Just plug in uh, the USB cable into a USB port. Once you have done this, then uh, go to the device manager on your computer and check your COM ports. Then you can see uh, it's a prolific chip inside. Right click and uh, go to properties and check the driver version. It has 3.6. That may cause the radio to transmit continuously. You switch on the radio. The radio starts transmitting continuously. So you will need to change the driver. Now let's install an older version of the prolific driver, which is 3.2. That will eliminate this problem. So just click next and it's going to be installed right away and you have to go back to the device manager, uh, look for the ports, but of course you have to remove the cable and then plug it again. Now the programming cable is recognized, so it's a prolific USB to serial com port. Go to the properties and check driver version. In Windows it's still 3.6, so you have to refresh. Look the driver on this computer and just choose version 3.2. Click next. Now it is updated. It means actually downgraded, but that works. And uh, now you can go to the RetroVis website look for the radio RT85, just click on that and uh, download the programming software which is under the support menu here. Go to firmware and software and here you can download the programming software to your computer. Just unzip it and you are ready to install. And of course you have to run as an administrator. Okay, let's see and program the radio for a repeater. When you switch on the radio, uh, this is right now in the VFO mode. You can switch v between VFO and the MR memory mode with the hash mark. So let's go to VFO mode and enter the receive frequency. Okay. Go to menu and select shift. Here it is. This should be, mm, in this case, minus. Yeah. Now we have to select the offset, which is 600 in this case. I mean 600 kilohertz. So zero, six, you can't type in. So just, uh, which is a bit annoying. Okay. But we also need to uh, set CTCSS code for transmission and uh, receive both. That you can do in the menu with uh, uh -huh, C CTCS. Uh, this is transmit, this is receive, 
and uh, if you want to set the same for both then you can use just C CDC menu okay and set it up for 131.8 okay and exit now we are done and if you would like to save this into a memory channel just long press function button then the memory channel number starts blinking and you can select where you would like to save let's say we saved to memory number seven and then uh, press hash mark for saving let's save another repeater i will do it on the other vfo in the lower one you can switch over to the lower with the a b button and just enter the receive frequency push the function button and we have to specify that the offset which is 7.6 megahertz that it's a bit problematic since i cannot type it in so it should be seven but it doesn't work so i have to push this button until it goes to 7.6 megahertz that's not very convenient okay however there's another method to set up the transmit frequency here is the receive frequency and simply keep pressing this monitor button and you can type in the transmit frequency here long press function then memory starts blinking let's save it to number eight okay and save with hash mark okay here we go so let's see the local repeater which is about 15 kilometers away it works a bit, a bit noisy. and let's see the other one which is up in the mountains but very far about 170 kilometers away works works very good plug in into the radio and turn on the radio here we go in settings we have to select the com port it was com6 and, and program just read from the radio loading the memory items from the radio and done as you can see these are the channels I have recently programmed manually and seven and eight and here I would like to set up some some channels for testing for example for power measurement and also one simplex channel just for testing okay I will rewrite number one number one let's say it should be uh, a simplex channel number five 400 also receive and transmit frequency will be the same 400 okay I don't use any CDC as the code or encode so no scramble uh, power I will just use uh, low power for testing and busy lock I don't need that step is 12.5 uh, and we use narrow band okay channel name will, will be here 145 400 but I could, I could use it as 16 or whatever number two let's program a repeater uh, receive frequency is 439 it's a local repeater so transmit frequency is for 400 the call sign then I will rewrite this to another repeater okay let's program for testing I would like to test the radio output power on, on the dummy load uh, 145 megahertz and I will register this with uh, low power 
145 in the hat. The same actually with middle power setting and the same with high power setting. Then uh, let's see how it works on, on 70 centimeter. I will, I will just test uh, 432 megahertz. By the way, you have 200 channels all together, so you can program 200 channels into the radio. Plus you have a couple of channels, I think uh, 25, 40 FM radio stations for broadcast music radio stations. Okay, we are done with this. So I, I just click on right here and it starts communicating with the radio and it stores all of these channels. Then we're gonna make the power test. So what's the output power of the radio? On 145 MHz low power setting, it's uh, just about 1 watt. Um, and middle power setting is about 2 watts. And on high power setting, it's 5 watts. On 432 MHz low power setting, it has about 1 watt. On the middle setting, it's about 2 watts. And the high power setting on 432 MHz is 4.5 watts. Testing, do I watch? 1, 2, 3, 4. Audio testing, 1, 2, 3. When you type in the frequency in VFO mode, you can start it only from 144. So the radio works from 144 to 146 and it works from 130 to 140. So you can't go below. You can unlock this by turning off the radio, press function 1 together and turn on the radio. So let's get familiar with the radio. This is the volume and switch on. Here you have a LED flashlight torch that you can activate by using this first side function button. But if you press this button for, for a longer time, then it will activate 1750 Hz for repeater access. This is the PDT button for initiating the transmission. And this one is the monitor button. By long pressing it, it will switch off the squelch, so you can monitor on the frequency. By long pressing the hash mark button, you can switch on the FM radio mode. If you press the hash mark again, then it will go to the FM radio uh, saved items, broadcast stations. Okay, let's see the menu. This is a scanning of the VFO and memory channels. Priority transmission band selection. This is the VOX level for voice initiated operation. Power setting, low, mid and high. Squelch level. Double weight, that means the upper VFO and, and the lower VFO on the screen will work simultaneously and it will switch over if there is a transmission. This is the display LED illumination. This is the brightness level of the display, keypad beep, timeout timer, transmission time setting, busy channel lookout. If there's any transmission received on the channel, then it, it won't allow to transmit. This is a VOX. Switch, Roger beep after the transmission, battery receiving function, scanning, auto lock, voice prompt. This is the setting when you switch on the radio, what it shall show on the screen if it's a message or the radio type or just the DC voltage. The actual voltage of the battery, display name, here we can set the CTC, 
for both transmission and receive receive CTC or DCS and the same for transmission shift direction of the for repeater operation step for VFO mode narrow or wideband FM transmission search function for CTCSS search for DCS tones scramble look display name to a watch if it's on then you can listen to the FM broadcast music radio and you can work on the radio as well and it will switch over you can reset everything this is the radio firmware version and so on so guys this is for though thank you for watching see you next time and enjoy your little radio